Okay, well, today we're gonna start doing the first floor and, and uh, basically just getting this whole thing framed up as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, storm is coming in, was it tomorrow or the day after, something like that, big snowstorm. Um, so I'm not actually gonna do any framing right now, but I am gonna work on prepping the boards, getting them to the right length. Um, got a whole bunch of wood delivered up here on the hill, I'll show you that to you. But there's also a bunch of scrap in the, in the basement. Kind of over there, stuff from, whoop, right there, from the, um, when we were doing the basement. They, I don't know if they sent extra wood or whatnot. There was some, something didn't really go right with the, when I ordered it and what they gave us. But I'm going to basically take that out, cut that first if I can, if it's to the right length, and then start working on the next stuff. And that'll also give me an idea of how much extra I have. So I'm going to try to under, um, under order on the next few orders to try to get back to where I'm supposed to be because the inventory is a mess. But anyway, getting this cut today as quickly as we can. And here's all the big pile of the rest of the wood for this. The way then when they dump this thing off, they like put it on a truck and then they just tilt the truck back until it falls off. So that's why it looks like that. Unfortunately, it also results in some damage on the zip panels which they say they'll replace if I need, or I can just try to strategically make sure I cut these pieces off. Um, but yeah, that's uh, it's not ideal the way they deliver it. <clears throat> now one thing that's a little different than uh, what normally, normally you'd have like a chop saw, or think miter saw people call it. Um, I'm doing something a little different here because I wanna be able to use this battery because this thing, is quiet and my chop saw works off of that annoying generator which is super loud so what i'm doing is basically using this as a guide the the this framing square to create you know basically something i can push the guard against and then do my cuts that way i'm keeping everything nice and straight i'm able to do it you know kind of on this this table here just freehanded the, the the thing i have is super light this guy it's one of the, the smaller ones it's not the really full size guy so I can do two by fours and, you know, not, not too much bigger than that. But anyway, this seems to be working well. So far I've done two cuts. So now I'm going to kind of start trying to get myself into a flow and knock out a bunch of these uh, two by sixes for the studs because I got a bunch of those I got to do. Okay, well, I started cutting down that pile into these studs. These are all my studs. Uh, I need 91 of them for the first floor. And I started over there in the distance uh, working on a few other boards, basically working on putting together my uh, walls into stacks, except for the studs, they'll just stay there. And then all the all the specific cuts I'll put somewhere else. Actually wall A, which is what that is, is the far wall. So I'll probably relocate that over there. And yeah, just try to get things organized. Um, pair for, supposed to be about uh, a foot of snow. Um, so I guess I gotta figure out, I don't know exactly how, where I'm gonna put these, but somewhere so that I can shovel them out. <laughs> That they won't be in the way of plowing or, you know, getting the snow off the tarp. I might put them under the tarp. That'd probably be the best idea. Then shoveling the tarp's going to be harder. And yeah, I don't know. We'll figure something out. But what is good is this is going really quick. It's right now it's like, what, four, I think, almost four o'clock. I started probably a little after 12, a couple breaks here and there. And, you know, I'm, I did all my studs for the first floor. So that's, it's going really well. And uh, yeah, this technique of, of using the using the circular saw against the um, the speed square is working very well. I, I double checked my lengths on that. I'm you know within a sixteenth on all of them that I could tell. So and they seem straight. So I think uh, I think we're doing we're doing good. Okay, so this is something a little interesting. I just pulled off the tarp, and as you can see, everything's nice and dry except for these two panels. Now, I kind of wonder if they had some moisture on them when we first sealed this all up, because that was an area where we were walking around a lot. Um, tried to sweep everything off as best as I could, but maybe some got trapped under there. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at it too, the f ones in the front are very white, and the ones farther back aren't as white. But when I walked over there, I didn't really see much going on. Yeah, they feel dry. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of wetness. So I think basically this thing just needs to breathe a little bit more. Um, 
So I'm glad we only had this thing tarped up as long as we did. This is just a floor adhesive stuff. But yeah, here's the here's the worst spot right here is this mold. And that's a little it's not squishy, but it's like swollen a little bit. My guess is that this is all surface from reading online. Um but I don't know. So I don't want to go ripping this up. It's all tongue and groove, and if I start messing with ripping out holes, then that tongue and groove isn't gonna really apply anymore. So what I'm gonna do is just, you know, we're gonna be taking the tarp off soon, so uh, gonna keep airing this out, just focus on getting the framing done. And if this becomes, you know, a problem, let me, can I rub it off? Let's see here. I mean, that, that looks pretty surface to me, that black stuff for sure. So I can clean that off. The only question is, is the slight swelling. I can't bring the camera down far enough to really show you. It's because it's not, it's very, very slight. So I think this is fine. Like it is, it's still hard. Um, feels, you know, just as hard as this. It's just slightly, ever so slightly bumped up. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we're good. I don't think this is an issue. I'm just going to keep moving. So right now we're looking at the ceiling of the basement. I just stuck my hand up between a few of the spots, um, between the, uh, uh, the insulation and the joist to touch the bottom of the floor. And I, f it felt humid once you got up above, like, you know, a layer and a half of the of the insulation. Those those are R15 bats, so there's two of them stacked, so to make an R30. Um, so it felt a little humid up there. So I'm guessing that's, you know, maybe part of how the moisture got up underneath the tarp to, you know, cause that uh, swelling and the mold on that one. Again, I'm not really too worried about it. I don't think it's an issue. Um, I'm gonna be letting it dry out as we continue construction. We're gonna be getting the tarps will only be on now um when we get the bad weather uh tomorrow or whenever it is and then the next time the tarps will go on will be you know when the the walls are up and the the ceiling joists are up so the tarps will never again be on that floor so it can start breathing and drying out and you know i think it'll be totally fine I'm not going to worry about it I would just like to point out that less than a week ago, I was in Georgia and it was over 70 degrees and I was overdressed. And now I'm here. <laughs> well, the storm is pretty much done. I spent basically all of yesterday hunkered in the van and this is the result. Um, I'd say it's compressed a little bit. I think we got a little bit more than a foot, I think. Uh, but, um, yeah, anyway, just got to get this stuff shoveled off. It's supposed to snow a little bit more, like, you know, little bits of rain and snow over the next 24 hours approximately. So we're just going to keep cutting, laying things out. I might nail together a few walls in place, um, you know, on the ground so that we can still get the tarp over. I just want to try to minimize the amount of time that things are standing up and it's precipitating because I won't be able to easily protect the zip panels, which are not watertight um, unless they're taped. So that's what we're gonna do. I got it uncovered and this is uh, the work that I did before um, you know the snowstorm came. And uh, basically this is all just, everything is cut and th these are all in place of where this wall is. So there's a wall that runs this way and those are all the studs needed for that wall. There's a wall that runs that way and those are all the studs needed for that wall, etc., etc. We're just gonna keep, uh, you know, piling up more wood, getting it cut. My goal is to get all of that wood and all of that wood cut and up here flat by the end of the day. Um, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, the uh, there's supposed to be some, a little bit more rain again. So 
I don't want to start setting things up yet um, until we know that like you know it's nothing's gonna be messing up the zip panels that's really the big thing is just the zip panels trying to protect them so I'm gonna get moving and hopefully then after after the rain happens on Saturday which should be very minimal hopefully um, we can start setting things up super quick because we'll have it all cut uh, marked you know ready to go and we're just about to get ready to start standing up walls the sun is finally starting to come out a little bit over here somewhere hey uh this is all the wood for the whole thing has all been delivered and is in place and there's a bunch of zip panels got a few i think those are two by fours over there and then we've cut a whole bunch that we've kind of positioned near where the walls are labeled and all that kind of thing and it's creating a bit of a mess so now oh and then there's a pile over there um so now we're gonna start standing them up uh because otherwise we're gonna run out of room and not be able to make them on the on the floor okay we got that one wall section done it took us several hours uh it's like what it's a four o'clock right now yeah. about four o'clock we started working around one so that's noon it was afternoon at some point. Um, so that took us, first time doing it, took us about four hours. I think we can speed that up. Um, we're getting the next wall, next section laid out now so we can kind of get that corner set up. So we finished uh, putting together that, that one section I was talking about. Um, it went way faster. I Maybe, what, an hour maybe? Something like that it took, which was so much faster than that first wall we did. Um, the... Uh, I think just the other one was more complicated. It was the first one and all that. So I'm optimistic that, you know, we're kind of going to get ourselves back on schedule to get this thing done in a reasonable amount of time. Um, tomorrow, I'm hoping for a lot of a lot of progress, and we're definitely going to be starting with standing some walls up. Um, but I think this video is probably getting pretty long, so I think I'm going to stop here and catch you on the next one for the hopefully the remainder of it but we'll some part of it we'll see <laughs>